Hello guys and dolls and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today I have quite a sad video because as you're probably aware, Toys R Us, the famous toy retailer, is going to be closing its doors for the last time in the coming weeks and months. In today's video I'm going to be showing you some clips from my last trip to Toys R Us and I'm also going to be unboxing Ding! I'm a Toys R Us kid Barbie from 1997. She's a really cool doll. I thought now is the best time to be unboxing this gorgeous doll. I'm gonna do that at the end of the video. I know that there will probably be some people saying Toys R Us is just a shop, calm down. But I think, you know, Toys R Us really represents childhood to a lot of, you know, 80s, 90s, and even noughties kids. It was an escape for us. It was a place where we could play and use our imagination. And also, this is gonna have a massive impact on the toy industry. Mattel and Hasbro's stock fell by 15% as soon as Toys R Us announced that they were bankrupt. And I just think it's really sad to think that kids that are born now won't grow up with a place like Toys R Us to go to. You know, scrolling through Amazon is not the same as going to this vast shop full of amazing toys that a lot of them you could actually play with and interact with before you decided which one you wanted to buy. I also feel very sorry for any YouTubers out there who make a lot of Toys R Us haul videos because that's going to be a thing of the past very soon. Toys R Us plays such a key role in all our collective nostalgia and there is never going to be another place like it, honestly. And that's why I think it's true, you know, lots of people have been hashtagging end of an era and I think that's true, you know, this is the end of an era. So yeah, I think this is a very sad turn of events. So first of all, let me show you some clips from my last ever trip to Toys R Us. One of the most depressing parts about this trip was I hadn't been to this Toys R Us for about six months and when I arrived last weekend I realized that this location had had a massive refurbishment which I just think is so sad to think that you know they went to all this time and energy to revamp the whole store just for it to close down a couple months later but anyway I still had loads of fun it was great to go back here are some clips So that was my video of my last trip to Toys R Us. Now let me show you, ding! I'm a Toys R Us kid Barbie. So obviously this doll is really, really cute. She's in there and she's got her shopping trolley and loads and loads of 90s toys, which I can't wait to have a look at. She's even got a little teddy bear. And you can see the Toys R Us giraffe. I think his name's Jeffrey. And I'm not sure if you can see, but the shelves are actually lined with this doll which is kind of meta, you know, she could buy herself. I wonder if those dolls have this doll on their shelves and then it just keeps on going and going forever. Obviously it says, I'm a Toys R Us kid Barbie on the top there. I think it is, it's such a shame that we're not gonna have any more Toys R Us exclusive dolls anymore because the Toys R Us exclusive dolls were always some of the best, I thought. And then on the back, there's the logo again, and it says that Toys R Us were celebrating their 50th anniversary when they, when they brought out this doll. Toys R Us would have celebrated their 70th anniversary last year, which is crazy to think about. There is a Dr. Dot here, which looks like it's gonna be the giraffe. And then it also says here, hey kids, and there are some Toys R Us facts, which I'll read to you now. It says, did you know that Toys R Us is a success all over the world? There are over 1,100 stores worldwide in countries including Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and Malaysia. That's kind of sad, considering soon there's gonna be no Toys R Us stores. In the United States, an average of one Barbie doll is sold every three seconds at Toys R Us. 
Again, kind of sad, considering this is really gonna hurt Barbie's revenue, I'm, I would suspect, Toys R Us closing down. Toys R Us used to be called Children's Supermart. Astronaut Barbie, a doll created just for Toys R Us, is now on permanent display at Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. And those are all the fun facts about Toys R Us and Barbie. Now I've given you a little look at the box. I'm gonna take her out of the box and give you guys a closer look at the doll. Okay guys and dolls, here is I'm a Toys R Us kid Barbie, and she's really cute, I absolutely love her, I'm so glad I own this doll. I bought her when I first found out Toys R Us was going out of business, because I just thought, I, I need that doll. And she was only £20 on eBay, which isn't too bad for a vintage doll. She has a really beautiful Barbie face, like honestly, this is um actually one of my favourite Barbie faces I've seen in a while. She looks really cute. I love her piercing blue eyes. I also really like her hair. She's got a little fringe coming down here, and then it's all done up in like a high pony, and it's really long and really soft. It needs a bit of a brush, because it's gone a bit boxy, but other than that, it's really nice, soft, beautiful hair. She's got little pink earrings, and then obviously she's got her I'm a Toys R Us kid t-shirt. Very 90s with the like high neck. The only thing is I kind of wish the t-shirt had um, Jeffrey on. I think that would be quite cute. But yeah, that's fine because Jeffrey is on her trousers, <laughs> which is quite cool. She's got these kind of like baggy trousers, which are also very 90s. It's a very kind of eye-catching, let's, let's call it eye-catching design. And as you can see, there are little Jeffries all over her trousers. And I do like these boots, I just wish they didn't have the kind of cowboy pattern on them because they just remind me too much of um, Western Stamping Barbie. And she's got a little pink ring. I really wish uh, she came with a shopping trolley because she came with so many toys and I'm gonna have to try and buy a Barbie shopping trolley now because I just need a shopping trolley to put all these toys in. Let me show you the toys she came with. She came with this kind of beach ball. She came with a little, I don't even know what you would call that, like a little kind of pulley thing, really cute. She came with her own Cabbage Patch Kid, which, you know, is just so 90s, like 90s overload. And the packaging is, you know, perfect. It's even got a little barcode and the Mattel symbol, other stuff you can buy on the back there. She came with a Barbie board game. It's got a very vintage look to it, which I think is quite cool. She also came with a little Hot Wheel set. I love these vintage Hot Wheel sets. And again, it's got all the like barcodes, all the information, pictures of the kids playing with it. Really cute, I love that. She also came with her own little teddy bear. Oh, you're so cute. She came with a pink Barbie hairbrush, and she came with this Toys R Us 50th anniversary bag. Toys R Us. So guys and dolls, that was my review of I'm a Toys R Us kid Barbie, and can I just say that I will always be a Toys R Us kid. I am really, really heartbroken that Toys R Us is gonna be closing. It's been such a big part of all of our childhoods, all of our growing up. Um, I think it's such a shame that there will never be a place like Toys R Us again. But at least we will always have our Toys R Us memories and Toys R Us will live on in our nostalgia. Thanks so much for watching my video guys. Please don't forget to let me know in the comments how you feel about Toys R Us. Also don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new here and click the little bell icon so that you get notifications every time I post a new video. Also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I'm gonna be posting more pictures of my last trip to Toys R Us. And I'll see you real soon, doll fans. Bye.